So guys, here we will find out the steel of this circular slab. I have made this already because uh, this drying because it will take uh, so it will take very long time. Okay. So here it this is my circular slab. Okay. This is my circular slab, and these are my bars. Just look at here. These are my bar. This is my middle bar. Okay. Here's middle bar, and this is my first bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, fifth bar, sixth. Seventh and eighth bar. Similarly, on other side, first bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, fifth bar, sixth bar, seventh bar, eighth bar. So, guys, uh, he, this is my bar. This is my uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. These are my bars. So now, here the question is how to find the total length of these bars of each bar. Okay, this is my middle bar. Okay, it is given the dia of circle is five meter. Okay, the five meter is the dia of circle. That's five hundred centimeter. I mean, if this is my circle, this is my circle, and this is the dia. Okay, and the concrete cover, concrete cover cover is twenty five centimeter. Twenty, I mean two two point five centimeter. That is twenty five mm. Cover, I will show you here. I will show you here. If this is my slab, this is my slab. This is my reinforcement. Okay. Cover is the from this side and from this side. Cover, this is called cover. From the outer face to the column to to the bar, this is the cover. From this side, from the outer face to the edge of the bar. Okay, this is the cover from both sides. And from each side and from each side is twenty five. Okay, from each side is twenty five. It is given concrete cover is twenty five, twenty five mm. That is two point five centimeter. And the spacing is one fifty. 150 mm that is 15 cm 15 15 cm center to center spacing spacing is i will draw here if this is my one bar this is my second if this is my one bar this is my second bar this is my third bar okay then this is the spacing from this bar to this bar between two bars what will be the distance what is the distance that is the spacing And this spacing is 150, 150 mm. Okay, this is 150 mm. You got me? Okay. Now here, and dia of bar is it's given. It is 16 mm, 16 mm. Now let's find the, let's find the each length uh, for each bar. First for middle bar, then first, second, fourth, sixth, six, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay. Here. Is the length of middle bar? Length of middle bar will be length of middle bar. Okay, this is I'll show you first. This is my middle bar. This is my middle bar. So what will be the length? What will be the length? So length of middle bar will be dia of slab minus two times cover. So dia of slab is As I told you earlier, it is five meter, and minus two times cover. Two times cover is, you know, twenty five mm. So two times cover is fifty mm. If we change it in meters, it becomes zero point zero five meter. Okay. Now five minus zero point zero five meter, it becomes length becomes four point nine five meter. So the length of middle bar will be four point nine five meter. Simply, what we do, we just subtract the cover from both sides. Okay, so the number of bar is only one because I have only one middle bar. Now let us find the length of length of first bar. Okay, length of first bar will be according to the Pythagoras theorem. You all know it, the Pythagoras theorem. Base square plus perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse square. First, we will find the hypotenuse. Okay, it's very important thing. What I do. Actually, the length of middle bar is 4.95 meter. If I divide this into two, I got 2.475. For more accuracy, uh, from one side I got 2.475, and from both sides I got 4.95. Okay, what you have to do? You have to divide this in two parts. 4.95 divided by two. One side will be 2.475, and this will be my base. And the spacing is. Date one five zero. That is one fifty mm. Okay, this is point one five zero, point one five zero 
meter okay and what about hypotenuse we know hypotenuse how we find the hypotenuse it's simply hypotenuse is simply the root of root of base square plus perpendicular square this is the base square and this is the perpendicular square so root of base square plus perpendicular square is 6.148125 and root of 6.148 is 2.475 okay this will be my the hypotenuse okay and i will take this hypotenuse for each bar i will I, because i take the reference as middle bar okay i'm starting from middle, middle bar so now let's find out the length of first bar so as i told you earlier the according to pythagoras theorem it is b square uh, base square plus perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse square okay so base is equal to hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square root of r, okay base is equal to root of what is hypotenuse square 2.4247.5 cm okay minus what is perpendicular square from middle bar 150 is the spacing that's 15 centimeters okay 15 square so base i got 4247.045 centimeter okay it's very easy so this i got the base here if this is my circle i will show you here if this is my circle and this is my first bar so this base i got from center to the end this is 2247.045 so what i have to do i have to find the length of total bar length of total bar will be twice because this was the radius and twice is the diameter so twice into 247.245 so this becomes 494.09 centimeter so length of first bar will be 4.94 meter okay so number of bars is just see here number of bars is one one and two number of bars is two i write here number of bars is two okay you got me now how to find the length of second bar similarly similarly length of second bar will be base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square so base square i have to find this base base is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square hypotenuse square will be 247.5 as i told you earlier where from we got this value 247 it becomes it will remain the same for all because i take my uh, hypotenuse from the middle bar okay as reference so hypotenuse is 247.5 square minus perpendicular is 30 because if this is my middle bar first bar now it is second bar okay from first bar it is 15 centimeter and from second bar it is 15 centimeter again so if i calculate this from middle bar it becomes 15 plus 15 that is 30 centimeter because i am taking my value all from middle bar that's why i write here 30 centimeter 30 square okay that's 30 centimeter so b is equal to 245.6 sound square if i calculate this value so length of bar will be this will be the as i told you earlier if this is my length of second bar i show you here this is my second bar this length from radius okay from half from radius to this end it is it is 24 245.67 here from this to this it is 245.67 and this will be also 245.67 that's why i write here 2 okay 2 into this i got 491.34 centimeter so l2 will be 4.91 meter so number of bars are 2 1 was to second bar 1 this second bar and from this side this is also second bar 2 so this is a 2 now what about what about the length of third bar similarly length of third bar is length of third bar is base is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square so hypotenuse square is 247.5 square minus perpendicular square is 15 plus 15 plus 15 because it is third bar that becomes 45 centimeter that is 44 40, 450 mm okay so this becomes b is equal to 243.37 centimeter okay so length of third bar will becomes 2 into 243.37 centimeter so l3 becomes 
फोर सेंटीमीटर दैट इज 4.87 मीटर ओके नाउ नंबर ऑफ बार्स आर टू बिकॉज एल थर्ड बार इज हियर थर्ड बार थर्ड बार इज वन एंड फ्रॉम दिस साइड टू सो आई हैव टोटल नंबर ऑफ बार्स इज थर्ड बार इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ बार्स टू ओके नो वट अबाउट फोर्थ बार सिमिलरली बी इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ हाइपर न्यू स्क्र माइनस पर पेनिकुलर स्क्र रूट ऑफ हाइपर न्यू स्क्र इज टू फोर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव स्क्र माइनस पर पेनिकुलर स्क्र इज फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन बिकॉज इट्स फोर्थ बार इट बिकम सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर दैट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एम एम ओके सो बेस बिकम इज टू फोर जीरो पॉइंट वन वन सेंटीमीटर ओके लेंथ ऑफ फोर्थ बार बिकम इज टू इंटू टू फोर जीरो पॉइंट वन वन सेंटीमीटर एल फोर बिकम इज माई एल फोर बिकम इज फोर एट जीरो पॉइंट टू टू सेंटीमीटर दैट इज फोर एटी मीटर फोर पॉइंट एट जीरो मीटर ओके सो नंबर ऑफ बार्स आर टू फोर्थ बार हियर वी हैव फोर्थ बार दिस इज फोर्थ बार फ्रॉम दिस साइड एंड दिस इज माई फोर्थ बार फ्राम द सेकेंड साइड सो एल फोर बिकम्स फोर पॉइंट एट जीरो मीटर ना वट अबाउट फिफ्थ बार सिमिलरली फॉर फिफ्थ बार सिमिलरली आई हैव बेस इज इक्वल टू हाई पार्टी स्क्र माइनस पर पेनिकुलर स्क्र हाई पार्टी आई हैव टू फोर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव स्क्र माइनस पर पेनिकुलर दिस टाइम एड फिफ्टीन मोर सिक्सटी प्लस फिफ्टीन आई गॉट सेवेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एम एम सेवेंटी फाइव स्क्र आई गॉट टू थ्री फाइव पॉइंट एट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर विल बी माई बेस सो लेंथ ऑफ फिफ्थ बार विल बी टू टाइम्स टू थ्री फाइव पॉइंट एट सिक्स दैट इज फोर सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट सेवन टू सेंटीमीटर सो दैट बिकम्स एल बिकम्स फोर पॉइंट सेवन वन मीटर ओके दैट्स एल इज एल फाइव सो नंबर ऑफ बार्स आर टू ओके हियर नंबर ऑफ बार्स आर आई विल शो यू हियर नंबर ऑफ बार्स आर फॉर फिफ्थ बार वन and this is 2 so number of bars are 2 so what about sixth bar length of sixth bar is same similar for all bars root of hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square hypotenuse square 247.5 square minus 90 square so this square minus this square we got base okay the base is 230.56 cm length of sixth bar will be twice 230.56 cm so l6 will be 461.12 cm that is 4.61 meter okay number of bars are two similar six bar one and this is my second two on both sides now what about seventh and eighth bar similarly seventh and eighth bar will be seventh and eighth bar length of seventh bar will be b is equal to i square minus p square that is this square minus this square now in this case it will be add more 15 1515 we got 105 square so my base will be 224.12 cm it's very easy it's not difficult it's the same procedure length of seventh bar will be two times 224.12 cm so l7 will be 448.25 cm and my l7 will be 4.48 m number of bars are two here i will show you both bars length of eighth bar will be in here will complete this thing b is equal to hypotenuse square minus perpendicular square hypotenuse is same for 247.5 square minus 120 add more 15 120 square base becomes 216.46 cm length of eighth bar becomes two times 216.46 that is 432.92 cm that is 4.33 m okay number of bars is two just see here this is my seventh bar and this is my last eighth bar okay so this is the way to find out the length of each and every bar in circular slab so this is very important thing now we will find the unit weight unit weight we know dia bar is 16 mm so we know 16 mm we have a formula d square by 162.162 so we will substitute this value here 16 square divided by 162.162 so i got 1.578 kg per meter so this will be the weight per meter for 16 mm bar okay you all know this thing now let's find the bbs 
bar binding schedule it's very simple serial number first first we will find that his description shape cutting length numbers total length unit weight total weight okay here i have 16 mm bar this is typical 16 mm first middle bar middle bar is one number okay you all know this thing middle bar was it was only single number this was my middle bar remaining bars there are two numbers one one number from both sides two number from both threes up to eight okay so 16 mm bar four point cutting length was 4.95 i will show you this thing this cutting length for first bar okay cutting. this thing the cutting length the cutting length for middle bar was cutting length for middle bar was 4.95 meter okay so here is the cutting length 4.95 number is one one number okay one number and the total length will be 4.95 4.95 into 1 that's 4.95 okay unit weight unit weight as you know uh, as i told you earlier unit weight was it is typical unit weight is typical unit weight is typical this is my unit weight it's typical remember this value 1.578 so that's why i write here 1.578 1.578 1.578 1.578 similarly okay so cutting length was 4. Point, uh, I mean cutting length is 4.95 numbers is 1 4.95 into 1 the total length is 4.95 okay total weight will become total weight is simple total length minus unit into unit weight total length is 4.95 into unit weight 1.578 that is 7.81 kg okay for first bar first bar first bar we have two bars as you know all we have two bars first bar we have two bars here first bar is from this side from this side to first bar is two times second bar is two times third bar is two times up to eighth bar okay here it's two 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 okay now cutting length for first bar my cutting length for first bar was i'll show you here this thing cutting length for first bar was 4.94 meter similarly i write all these things 4.94 meter was cutting length for first bar and the total length will be 4.95 into 2 that's 9.88 and unit weight is same as above 1.578 so total weight became 9.88 into 1.578 that's 15.60 kg similarly for second bar 4.91 is the cutting length 2 times total length will be 4.91 into 2 9.82 unit weight will be same and the total weight will be total length into unit weight that's 15.50 kg similarly for third bar cutting length is this is the shape cutting length is 4.87 numbers are 2 total length is 9.74 cutting length into numbers and the unit weight is same 1.578 and the total weight is 15.37 similarly for fourth bar for fifth bar for sixth bar for seventh bar this is similar to fourth bar two times cutting length uh, total length is this into this and the unit weight is sam and the total weight is total length into unit weight that is 15.15 for fifth bar it is sam for sixth bar it is similar and for seventh bar it is similar and for eighth bar it is four point cutting length is 4.33 two times that is 4.33 into 2 8.66 and the unit weight becomes is 1.578 and the total weight is total length into unit weight that is 13.67 kg now if at lastly what we do what we have to do we have to add at lastly what we have to do we have to add all these weights this is first weight second weight third weight fourth weight six seventh eight nine ten so total weight is one two seven kg okay this is my total weight the total still use is one to seven kg okay thank you thank you